Hey, Michael here with another armchair tech tip, and today we're going to talk about how to clean the heads on your PolyJet system. Now, I'm positive that somebody out there is going, man, do I really need to do this every single time that I build a job? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's that important. And we want to make sure you understand that this really isn't a hard thing to do. It's quick, it's straightforward, but it will preserve your heads and your investment. So please come on back to the back room with us and let us show you how we do it here at Go Engineer. Welcome to our back room. This is our J850 at the Atlanta Go Engineer office. What I want to talk to you about today applies to all, not just this, all of the polyjets created by Stratasys. It is critical. I know I kind of laughed about it in the intro, but it is critical that every time you run a part on this system, when the job is completed, go in and do this wizard to clean the heads. Okay, this is an important step. We want to walk through it with you. On all the software packages, it's titled a little differently. Some systems it's called head cleaning, some it's just called cleaning. But you will go in, find the option, the wizards, and in this case, it's called cleaning. I'm going to walk through the prompts. Yes, the tray is empty. Yes, the cover is closed. It's going to position itself for me to do this quick process of cleaning the heads. Why is this so important? I don't want that material sitting on those heads with light or just time allowing that material to dry on those small little orifices plugging them up. The heads are a critical, very expensive wear item that we don't want you to have to deal with just because we're not maintaining them on a day-to-day -day basis. So please go through these steps. Get a lint-free cloth and some alcohol. This is probably one of the most important things that people miss. In a lot of cases they're like, I'm ready to go! And I will sit there and watch them and think, <laughs> No, 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 yes, yes. Alcohol is my friend. I want this to be really wet. I don't want to just rub it with two squirts so that the alcohol is dusting the holes. We need to get it wet enough that it actually cleans the head. So please get this soaking wet so that you've got enough alcohol to really make a difference. With that, I want a mirror and a light. So when the system is ready, you're going to open up the hood, plop the mirror down, position the light so you can actually see what you're doing down here, and we'll go through the process of cleaning the heads. So with our alcohol-rich cleaning pad, you want to come in here and get the residue off of your heads and the roller. I start with two it's just easier to get my fingers on two at a time and apply a nice aggressive motion back and forth not side to side just back and forth up and down the heads I will then flip my cloth over to a clean side and repeat the process now notice I am wearing a glove for two reasons one is I'm trying to keep my hand away from any uncured resin on the bottom of the print block but two, and really more importantly for me, is that that alcohol really dries out my hand, and so I'm trying to make sure that I'm just being protected from both. So with that, I want to make sure I get a good, clean, and as you can see, aggressive scrub on these heads. I don't want to come in here and just lightly dust them off. I want to get them back to a polished shine. so that when you look down on the heads, they look like new for every single run. From there, the roller right here also needs to be clean. On some systems, we have an option to activate the roller. And this one has that option. And once that's activated, I will take that cloth and again, come up here and wipe off the roller. If I have a system that does not have an activation for the roller, I will simply come up and rub and wipe. I'm pulling to the left. The reason I'm going to the left is that I'm, I'm pulling it into the blade that we can see in another video about how to clean the roller bath. So I will just simply roll to my left, 
white, roll white, roll white. I will do this enough that I've made a couple of rotations on that roller to get it and the heads clean. So once you're done, after you've cleaned the roller with the lint-free cloth and all the heads, and again, giving them a good scrub back and forth, what you should see are heads that are clean and shiny, essentially like brand new after every single run. Now the final step on the J series is the software has been updated to have you clean the waste purge area every time it runs a job, which personally I think is a great idea. You will notice on some of the older systems that our recommendation is to do this once a week through the wiper wizard. In this case, the wiper wizard is included in the overall cleaning process of the system. So we will wipe off the blades, get everything cleaned up in there as well. Now, this is common. There's always gonna be a little bit of overspray that happens. Okay, you'll see that on your system. What we try to encourage is this cleaning process to keep the whole area from looking like that. That's how you clean the wiper as well. So that's the hands-on process for cleaning the heads, and in this case, the wiper. And again, the wiper could be a secondary process on some older systems. It has its own wizard to clean that. And again, the recommendation long-term is that one week to clean the wiper. In the case of these systems, we do it every time we run the head cleaning wizard, which is again, every time you build a part or a tray of parts. Final step is that we wanna grab our mirror, our light, close the hood. The system is gonna ask us, is the build tray empty and is the printer cover closed? It's gonna home itself, do a purge, and the process is complete. So that's the important step. And again, I know we joke about it a little bit, but we really do encourage you to understand that there is a very, very critical and sensitive nature to this process. And the more you do this after every run, the longer your heads are gonna last, the happier everybody is gonna be. All right, we'll see you back up front. Thanks. Okay, so I hope that gives you a pretty good and simple rundown about how to care for and preserve the heads on your PolyJet system. With that, please like and subscribe this video and look down below, you'll see some links to our website and other current tech data. Thanks for following us. If you have any other questions, we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks, bye.